In this video, we'll look at how to find the equation of the tangent using first principles when the equation given to us is a rational function. And this function is 7 over x. So we'll calculate f prime at x, or the derivative, using the first principles formula, which is f at x plus h minus f at x all over h. That's a formula you'll need to know. So what we want to find out is what's the limit as h approaches 0 of 7 over whatever x is. In this case, x is x plus h. So we sub that in minus f at x, which is just 7 over x, all over h. So you can keep working in the fraction here, but I'm going to do some work on the side. When I have 7 over x plus h minus 7 over x, that's equal to common denominator. I'm going to multiply this first fraction by x on the top and x on the bottom. I'm going to multiply the second fraction by what it's missing, in this case an x plus h on the top and an x plus h on the bottom. And now I can put those denominators together. That is, I have a common denominator of x times x plus h. And on top, I get 7x minus 7x plus h. Well, I can rainbow or expand this minus 7 into the brackets and get 7x minus 7x minus 7h all over x times, didn't need that first bracket, all over x times x plus h. And of course, these 7x's cancel out, and I get negative 7h over x times x plus h. Great. So that work on the side was just so I didn't have to keep writing the whole big fraction each time. It saves me a bit of writing. So now I have the limit of h as h approaches 0 of negative 7 over h. I'm sorry, negative 7h over x, x plus h, and all that is over h. So how do we move forward now? Well, the easiest way I know how to show it is to say, look, this is negative 7 over x, x plus h. And then here I was dividing by h, which is the same as h over 1. When you're dividing by a fraction, it's the same as timesing by its flip. And this shows you the h's place, that it, this h here just becomes part of the denominator. And why that's good is because in order to solve, we need to be able to cancel out, which we can do now. We have an h on the bottom, an h on the top, connected by multiplying. We can cancel out. And now we have the limit as h approaches 0 of negative 7 over x times x plus h. Good so far? Because now we're going to get rid of this limit as h approaches 0. That is, we're going to sub in h equals 0. And we get negative 7 over x, x plus 0. And that's just x. So we get negative 7 over x times x, which is, of course, x squared. And now we have the equation of our tangent, or the equation of our derivative. So we'll write a final statement. The equation of the tangent is f prime at x equals negative 7 over x squared. And what we've done is solve for the equation of the tangent using first principles.